welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today I'm bringing you guys these really cool photo booth props that I made for my nephew's party I made them double layered just so they're sturdy and they don't flop around these are gonna be so fun to use and I also found all these pictures online for free so I'll show you where I got them all and let's get started here I'm on the Pinterest page and this is where me and my sister add some ideas for the party uh, this was the inspiration for the photo booth props, and I wanted to do something similar to this. So like always, I just headed on to Google to see what I could find. And I was very lucky to stumble upon this image right here that was connected to a blog. And this blog post happened to contain all the images that I wanted to use, so I was very happy and I just went ahead and saved all of them. And they were PDF files, but that's fine. That will work for us. And this is what the files look like. And since you cannot upload PDFs to Cricut, here I'm using my snipping tool and saving them as images. If you don't have a Cricut, you could just go ahead and print out the PDF files and then just cut around with normal scissors. But since I do have a Cricut, I tend to be more lazy now. And I love the perfect cut, so I'm just going to put them in my Cricut. Once you have all your images saved, we're just going to go upload them into Cricut here and then I'm going to just use the high tolerance to remove the background. Make sure to erase all those letters right there. And then we save as a print and cut image. And so we're just going to repeat these same steps for all our images until everything is uploaded. Once you have all your images uploaded, now we're going to go ahead and put them into our canvas. Since I didn't add these images one by one, you can see here they're kind of stuck together. So now we're just going to go and, and use our tools and our tools are going to help us slice through everything and make every image separate from each other. And so just like that, we have two separate images and that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm just going to select a shape that kind of matches and then slice through my image. Remember that you can only slice two items at the time, so don't have things overlapping because it won't work. And once you have sliced through everything and everything is its own separate image, we're going to go ahead and enter a rectangle. It will measure 6.75 by 9.25 inches. And so I'm going to use that rectangle to guide me in seeing how big I can cut everything out. And it is good to keep in mind what you're cutting. For example, if we're cutting out the chest piece, we might want to make that as big as possible. So I'm just going to let it be the whole size of my page. And since I do have half the page left, I'm going to go ahead with my other images and just seeing what I can fit in there. Okay, so this page looks nice and full. So what we're going to do now is just remove the background, select everything inside the page and hit attach. And so just like that, we have our first page. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat the same steps to the rest of our images. And so once we're done, we can see that we're going to be printing and cutting five different pages. And so now we just go over to make it. Back on Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to go back into my project. And that's because when I printed these out, I used my 80 pound cardstock, but I feel like they're still too flimsy. So what I'm going to do is just create an extra layer. And you don't have to reprint this. You only want the back. So you could use basically any color background. I'm just going to use white. Um, but we're just going to add some like sort of dimension how I do with the cake toppers and use foamy tape to make it a little stronger. I'm just going to click on it and see over here it says print then cut. We don't want to print so we're just going to put basic. And it will change it to just that. That's fine. Like I said, we don't need to reprint. Okay, so now we're just telling the computer that we basically just want to cut out the shapes. And so when I go over to make it, I'm just going to load up my cardstock and cut these pieces out. Here I have printed out my pages and everything is good to be cut. Now I'm just going to take my mat. Once again, make sure that your mat matches the screen. And now we can go over and cut. Okay, so here I have all my pieces cut out and everything was cut out nicely. I also have those backgrounds that I did. Um, 
just to enforce them and make them less flimsy. If you use thicker cardstock, I'm pretty sure you won't need to do this step, but like you can see how um, wrinkly they are. And I don't like that, so we can make them better. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find our matching piece, which is this one right here. So on this piece, I'm gonna add a lot of foamy tape. And you're also gonna be using some skewers. Do keep in mind where you're putting the stick. For example, if you put the stick in the middle, like when they take a picture, the stick is going to be in their face. So you don't want that. Um, so I'm going to put it on the side right here. Okay, so I have my double-sided foamy tape. I'm going to put my stick like right here. And I'll also be taking some hot glue. And just like that. Now I'll be taking my other piece and then just placing it on top. And now, look at this. Very sturdy. And I'm just going to keep going, do the same steps to all my pieces, make sure that all my pieces are very sturdy. And then we'll be done. And once you're done, this is what we have. Everything's super sturdy. It doesn't wobble anywhere. I'm glad I did this double layer. And now they're ready to be used. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please also head over to my Instagram and my TikTok for a lot more pictures and videos of my work. And thank you so much for watching.